like the speed of sound. What is going on guys, this is Bullet Train HD and welcome back to the channel to another new Need for Speed video. We're going to talk about the physics in Need for Speed 20... 2019, yeah, 2019 physics because for the simple fact is I like the physics on Need for Speed Carbon. There's a reason for this video that's being made right now before your, uh, before your eyes today. So the physics on this game feel honestly feel very unique and you, your car feels a lot more painted to the ground due to when you tune your car normally without using any speed cars which if they take the speed cards out I'll be very glad that they would do that because the speed cars didn't feel very need for speed like not only that it didn't feel like any speed game at all due to the um, you guys already know the whole break to uh, gas to break drift or something like that I really don't remember or break the drift or something like that uh, I wasn't a big fan of that uh, the ghost games has been using that for since Need for Speed, since I think it was Need for Speed, um, Need for Speed The Run? No, it wasn't Need for Speed The Run? I don't really know. No, they didn't do that on Need for Speed The Run. They used the Break the Drift on Need for Speed Rivals, since I think that's the last one I remember, or one of them. I think that was the last one I um, remember playing. Then again, I never really played Need for Speed Rivals. So, playing Need for Speed Carbon, going back and testing out the physics well not testing but playing the physics at you know the full game not not the demo or anything this is the full game of Need for Speed on my PlayStation 3 which I just recorded on my Agato HD capture card and using this footage and testing the brakes and not only the brakes the way the car feels and handles it feels like it's it's its own car not only that I used there later on down in this video you guys will see another car being used and I will give some a little bit more detail on how they both handle. Okay, so I'm using this Mercedes SL, I think, 500, if I'm correct. If I'm wrong, let me know. Um, so I'm using this car. It's not fully tuned. It's, it's a little bit of tune. It's got uh, nitrous, uh, not, not for this video, not for this portion of the video, but it's got nitrous, it's got brakes, and it's got a, a little bit of things here and there. And it feels different, and it, it feels really unique and you can you can honestly feel the difference like it handling it being on the road and also the body kit the way the body kit is it's more planted onto the ground and you get the act like when you stop the car you can actually like in a way you can feel the car like trying to stop itself the weight is pushing forward and trying to stop because of the brakes now the brake balance is pretty much balanced out so being the using the brake balance in the game um, you when you're going fast and need for speed for before all this break the drift crap was invented you would on this need for speed you would have to literally stop your car literally you would literally have to brake before you get to the turn and that feels unique that handling model in this game I think black box made this if I'm correct let me know in the comments down below if I'm wrong let me know in the comments down below but to me, the physics on this particular game, in my opinion, felt great. A, a little bit, a little bit, um, a little bit sluggish on the handling. But since the Need for Speed Most Wanted franchise was out after this one or whatever before, it felt they both felt good. They felt they felt unique. Your car felt more planted to the ground, and overall, you you really felt that sense of speed in this Need for Speed era. And this is what I appreciate most in this Need for Speed is this era need for speed of the way the cars handle and they felt right they, they felt all different they didn't feel the same they they didn't sound all the same every car in this game sound differently Be in, in their handling too every car handled differently and, and you guys know that for a fact because you most of you on the channel played this game and I absolutely I, I love this game and also I like most on it but from one of the handling um, handling the model some Need for Speed Underground 2 in this one I have to say in my opinion Need for Speed Carbon and Need for Speed Most Wanted pretty much nailed it with the handling in the physics in this game it just felt right you felt more planted to the ground you know you need to stop hit the apex on the, on the, on the street corners and you can tell like the way I'm driving I had like I've been breaking so early because it felt like I got that sense of speed in this game, and that's what it made it felt unique. 
And if Ghost Games can do that, hopefully they can. Hopefully they're listening, which who knows if they are. Who knows if who's listening or who else is listening on this channel. The physics on this game, to me, felt great. Period. And in, in just in my opinion. But if you guys want to set your opinions and your thoughts, let me know in the comments down below. But this, this game felt right in handling and physics in general and tuning without the stupid speed cars like the, the tuning in general also was very good it, it had a good balance to it for the handling in the physics model which was used in this game since it was made and I, I appreciated that when they released this game I was like wow this game feels nice you know just the way the cars handled you know, and like from every single car that you use in this game and that you tune throughout the story mode and you progress in this game and bought your cars you felt that difference so I mean what more can I say like this game is phenomenal it's great for its time and graphically it, it's it kind of stands out a little bit I mean it aged pretty well stuff like that cards do they all sound different and like once you shift up and shift down you can you can hear the little uh, uh, like every car sound different and I, that's what, in my opinion, Ghost Games is being a little bit lazy. Maybe they they should learn from, um, what's that company called? Shoot, I forgot. Yeah, you guys already know that, um, Black Box. They should learn from Black Box, or at least hire the people from Black Box to work on their games. Because, in my opinion, Black Box did a way better job. And if only they were still in the development cycle of EA's crazy crap. But if they were still there, they honestly they, they did a very good job making their game because I felt like Black Box know what they were doing throughout the whole Need for Speed cycle, for, th through any Need for Speed, they, they 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 handled the game with care. I mean, Ghost Games can do this too. I know they can, but they can do better. I mean, Need for Speed is on a cycle where it's almost well I think it's the 15th anniversary 25th anniversary I don't know let me know in the comments down below but if they can nail the handling with these kind of physics I would be very ecstatic I want to see this I want to see this game make it and the whole arcade scene and I don't even know if this game is gonna last any longer than it should because the, the last Need for Speed did not do very well and I'm hoping that a Need for Speed similar to the older ones that ghost games can learn from down in the future because they almost nailed it with need for speed 2015 they did a great job on the game but the physics were freaking terrible the physics were maybe in my opinion i guess if i'm i don't know i'm just saying this right now felt a little similar to this the cars felt a little bit planted to the ground but the whole break break the drift or whatever messed it up so if they can scrap the whole physics with the physics that they recently used in 2015 and Need for Speed Payback and then redo it and use the physics that's on this one or Need for Speed Pro Street for instance, they will kill the game. And with the tuning settings too and everything at that matter, they will kill the game, period. And just make everything right. Just do everything right. That's all we ask. This is... If you guys want this kind of physics, if you guys enjoy this kind of physics, let me know in the comments down below. This is Bullet Train HD. We're moving like the speed of sound. All my links are down below as well as my Discord. I'll see you guys in the next video.